I'm thoroughly pissed off this morning. And why am I thoroughly pissed off? Well, in part, it's because I've had to put my Switch review on hold yet again. But primarily, it's because I sat down this morning to look at my YouTube comments and I saw a video flagged up to me by a YouTuber called Sid Alpha. Now, I haven't got an axe to grind with Sid Alpha, but I thought his video was very interesting. And so I did feel that I had to comment on it. Now, his video was about another YouTuber called Sir Fock. Now, Sir Fock is a popular World of Tanks YouTuber. And in his most recent video, or one of his most recent videos, he talks about Wargaming, that's the company that make World of Tanks, and their most recent pay-to-win scheme. I mean, premium tank. This premium tank, it seems, requires you to pay money in order to either use it or to destroy it. So, as I say, it's a pay-to-win scheme. So, Lord Fock made a big deal out of this and he got rather annoyed about it, as you would probably expect. He's a keen member of the community, he likes to play World of Tanks, and it seems he's getting rather fed up with this pay-to-win nonsense. So, how did Wargaming respond? Did they take his criticism on board? Did they go to the community and ask what they felt about this most recent pay-to-win scheme? No. They issued a DMCA against Sir Fock and threatened him with further action. And that's where Sid Alpha got involved. In effect, what a DMCA means is that Wargaming are threatening Sir Fox channel. Because for those of you who don't know, YouTube has a three strikes and you're out policy. And that means that three copyright strikes and your channel is gone. Not just suspended, but gone for good, deleted. And that's a big deal to a lot of people who spent an awful lot of time putting an awful lot of energy into generating content. To have it go is utterly soul-destroying. So think about it for a minute. Being critical of this multi-million dollar beer moth of a company hurts their feelings so much. Sorry, did I say feelings? I meant to say profit. It hurts their profit so much that they're prepared to take a shit all over a guy who's actually a big fan of the game and one who has probably done his fair share to help promote the game through his videos. That's sensible, isn't it? Now, to be fair to Wargaming, they're not the only company that's engaged in this sort of anti-consumer, anti-free speech bullshit. I'm looking at you, Nintendo, and you, Konami. But this is such an egregiously transparent attempt to silence criticism that I thought I had to make a video about it. A company the size of Wargaming shouldn't be treating its fans with such utter, utter contempt. This is the sort of shit you expect from a fly-by-night outfit. And you know what? I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of the companies that pull it. And you should be too. Because all the while we sit still and accept this crap, they'll keep doing it. And so people like Sir Fock, and even me, and even you if you're a YouTuber, can find that you've got a problem with your channel and you could actually lose your channel. And for what? Because you've made some criticism and hurt their feelings. So here's what I'm suggesting. Go to Sir Fox's channel, and I'll put a link in the description, and subscribe to his channel, and then leave a little comment and let him know that you support him. Then go to Sid Alpha. Tell him that you have seen what he said about Sir Fock and say that you support him in his attempts to support Sir Fock. Then go and let Wargaming know how you feel. Be polite about it. Don't start threatening them or anything stupid like that. Just tweet them or send them an email and let them know in no uncertain terms that this shit will ultimately come back and land on them. And then tell your family, tell your friends about this anti-consumer crap and ask them to do the same. The more we bend over for this kind of shit, the more these companies will continue to do it. We need to let them know that we will not put up with it. Anyway, that's all i got to say on this one. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments. And as ever, we'll have a chat. And in the meantime, I really do need a cup of tea today.
So uh, I'm off. <laughs> I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.